Well, here at KOCO, we love to celebrate our teachers who work so hard, and we love to let them know how much we appreciate them. KOCO and Quail Creek Bank want to highlight all of them here. We absolutely love doing this. Jason, right now, he is live at Westmore High School, and you're about to surprise our February Teacher of the Month. That's right, Shelby and Alejandro. I am right outside that teacher's classroom. His name is Billy Ellis. He is a speech and debate teacher here at Westmore, and I want to show you the championships outside of his classroom just kind of speak for itself. I mean, look at all this. Definitely deserving of this Teacher of the Month surprise, so let's walk in right now and do this surprise live. And of course, the door is locked. Open up! Magic of live TV, everybody. We're surprising this teacher live, so give us one second. He's in the middle of a class right now. Hey, can I have everybody's attention real quick? Hey, 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 everybody. Get to one side of the room. All the students get on, onto the side of the room, please, because I want you all to watch this. Mr. Ellis. Yes. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I can see the surprise on your face right now. <laughs> I want to let you know that you are KOCO's February Teacher of the Month. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just what are your thoughts? What are your what is your reaction in this moment here? Well, a little shocked. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's an honor, especially after uh, how hard this year has been, mm -hmm. uh, just with all the changes and stuff. And so anything like this is it's nice to know that someone took their time to say thank you. Uh, tell me all about Mr. Ellis's speech and debate class. What is it like to have a class here in this room? Uh, well, I hope that it's fulfilling. <laughs> uh, our focus is on uh, community and competition, and so in this class we really try to elevate voices and get kids to know why they believe what they do and then empower them to believe them and mm -hmm. speak about it. Uh, how difficult did the pandemic, you, you mentioned the difficulties and just how hard it's been, how difficult did it make a teaching a class like that, speech and debate, where you want to be in person, you want to have those face-to-face -face interactions? I've been really lucky in that the students here and the community is really interested in what we do. And so the kids have kind of continued their passions. It's been difficult in mm -hmm. that we don't get to go to tournaments or we didn't last week and we did get to go to our first one. Yeah. And so we haven't been going, but the kids stayed invested and their passion carried us through. So it was a setback, not a barrier. And speaking of championships and speaking of tournaments, we saw all the championships out there. Uh, you guys are a pretty good speech and debate team, correct? Yes, sir. Tell us more about that. Uh, well, we've won state since 2018, and last year our team was named top 10 out of eight countries at the National Speech and Debate Association. So really uh, building the team up, still continuing that motivation, and this is our future right here. This is my intro class. So I want to read some of the, uh, the things that the person said that, uh, that nominated, you, nominated you here. He says, he not only teaches us to be better speakers, debaters, and actors, but also to be better human beings in general. Uh, most of our classroom supplies come out of his pocket. Uh, he said, uh, this person said, he buys suits for students who can't afford them for competition and will always stop to check up on you if he sees that you're feeling down. Just what are your thoughts on just those nice words? I mean, I think that's the goal of education. It's to get the kids what they need so that they can believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that it's uh, not just noticed, but it's appreciated uh, means a lot. I, I, I bet it does here. So this not only comes with a, a nice surprise on live TV, it also comes with a little bit of cash. Okay. So <laughs> let's get this in here. This is a check <laughs> oh from Quail Creek Bank. $1,000 for your classroom, courtesy you. of DonorsChoose.org. $1,000. What can you do with that $1,000? Uh, we can pay for a trip to Nationals. <laughs> we have 19 kids going to Nationals as of last week uh, in Kentucky for a week. So that is exactly where this will go. It will be going to uh, those expenses so kids don't have to pay for it themselves. Yeah, and you don't have to pull it out of your pocket either. You don't have to pull it out of any pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Ellis, congratulations. Definitely a deserving Teacher of the Month. Kids, round of applause. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Thank you so much. Alejandra and Shelby, we love Teacher of the Month. We love Mr. Ellis and everything that he's doing. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Ellis. I know. Amazing teacher. So well deserving. Yes. Let's he has our vote. Well yeah. done. You can hear the kids like going wild <laughs> cheering. That is so cool. Uh -huh.